summer. It is 5.31am and we're off to the gym. It is a Saturday and normally I do not, well normally I don't even gym on a Saturday, especially not this early. But my sister-in-law Sage worked at the gym that I go to, which is primarily why I started going there in the first place. But she has got a new job and so this is her last day working at the gym and so I wanted to go at the 6am because it's the time I go during the week so it means I can go and work out with the same people, the vibes will be immaculate and it's going to be a great time. We're going to go do that, you guys are going to come along with me for the whole weekend and it's going to be a blast. But anyway, first of all I need to get my butt out the door otherwise I'm going to be late. <laughs> it is so stormy outside right now, it's meant to be really windy for the next couple of weeks and I got woken up in the middle of the night by like rain and wind and stuff. And it was kind of giving like Auckland anniversary weekend vibes if you know you know. I have enough trauma that I'm dealing with from that weekend. So it could be a bit of a uh, nerve wracking drive to the gym this morning. Because yesterday I was driving to the gym and obviously it was dark. And my car was going all over the road and I was like what is wrong with my car? Like have I like blown a tire or something? And then I realised it was just windy but I couldn't see the wind because it was dark. I think I'm probably going to be in for the exact same thing today. <laughs> Done. I didn't really get a chance to film much in there because it was so full on. It was such a full on class. It was like cardio strength, cardio strength. And my arms are so sore. It is time to go home. But I am going to go via the cafe that's by our house. I'm hoping it's going to be open. I'm going to buy mum and dad like a coffee and a hot chocolate to take home to them. They'll probably still be in bed when I get there. But the All Blacks kick off in 45 minutes. So they'll be up for that I'm sure. Oh, people already lining up at the pub <laughs> on a Saturday morning at 7.30 for the rugby. And the cafe is closed. Dang it. It's alright, the thought was there. It's a thought that counts. I don't know if you're watching this, that was my intention, but the cafe shut, so you win some, you lose some. It's been like a bit of a rough 24 hours or week or two to be honest, in my family. Um, my granddad passed away yesterday, so by the time this video comes out, the funeral would have happened. Yeah, it's just, it's hard. Lost two grandparents in the space of two months, which is never gonna be easy, but I'm just so grateful to know that they had lived a wonderful, long, beautiful life on here on earth, and now they're in their eternal home in heaven where everything is perfect and that just brings me so much peace. Since I can't do the coffee hot chocolate thing for mum and dad, maybe I'll make them one on mum's coffee machine. But I'm pretty sure we have some like uh, frozen like pastry things in the freezer, so I might cook those up for breakfast and we can have those while we watch the All Blacks hopefully win. If they win, it's, it's for granddad, honestly. I have secured the mixed pastries. We had these on Christmas Day, like last year, and they were chef's kiss. Mum and dad are still asleep, so I'm gonna pop them in the freezer, go out of my shower and then come back and cook them by then the rugby game will be started and we'll have fresh pastries. Love it. OOTD is sussed. The dog slippers are a must. The weather may be absolutely appalling today. Like it's, it's nothing to get excited over. But I am actually a big fan. This is kind of the, the vibes that I need today. I've got a lot of study to do. So I'm just gonna watch the game, do some study. And it's gonna be a great day. Game kicks off in two minutes. Still no sign of mum and dad. Looks like this game's gonna be a bit of a solo mission. Go boy! Oh! Yes! Yes! Yum! All Blacks are steamrolling Italy. Pastries are ready. Also made myself a little smoothie. It is my mum's birthday on Monday, so we're going out for a family dinner tonight and my auntie and uncle are coming down from Whangarei for it. They're staying at our house tonight, which is going to be nice. But at our place, we've got like a two-story house. There's one bathroom upstairs and one bathroom downstairs. All the bedrooms are upstairs apart from the guest bedroom. So the bathroom downstairs is like the guest bathroom. We don't really ever have guests. And so when I moved back home, I claimed the guest bathroom as my bathroom just so I have my own space, which is totally fine. Except when we have guests come over, that means I'm sharing the bathroom with the guests. So I've just cleaned my bathroom ready for my auntie and uncle to come. Also need to clean my room because I'm going to be away next weekend in Whangarei. I'm going to put on some tunes and do some cleaning.
Okay, great. It's her birthday on Monday, but I think we're doing presents like at her birthday dinner tonight because they're going away tomorrow. Matthew and Sage and I have bought her like a new blender thing. And dad's gift to her is a hot lap with Liam Wilson because he's like our family friend. But I need to make a voucher for it. Dad made a voucher for it, but um, I'm going to I'm gonna do it on Photoshop because I think I can do a better job. And then I have some content I need to film and then I'm going to do some study. It's already 10.30. The day is flying by. Okay, we've secured the F1 font. Secured the Alphatori image. Now the golden question is what are we going to say? Happy birthday Julian. This voucher is for a hot lap with Liam in a Ferrari. How do you spell Ferrari? Two R's, one R. Two R's and then one R. This voucher is for a hot lap with Liam Wilson in a Ferrari at Hampton Downs, I'm assuming. Love from Greg. You know what? It's not my finest work, but I think it'll do the job. This is so cute. Taya just messaged me. And said, hey, what are you doing? Want to go to a cafe and have a hot chocolate? I'm like, heck yeah, I want to go to a cafe and have a hot chocolate. So I think I'm going to meet her in like an hour in town. And we're going to get hot chockies. I have some content to film for MCO Beauty. <laughs> so I have my products here. I have this set up, which I need to refine a little bit. Um, and then I need to leave the house in like 25 minutes to go see Taya. So I need to make some moves. Okay, makeup is done. I actually like undecided if I'm going to leave it on though because it's raining. So I feel like it's just gonna wash off my face and I'm just, I'm a little bit concerned. My skin is incredibly dry today and I'm a little bit worried after, now that I've put it on. I feel like my skin needs more moisture. So I feel like it'll be fine if I leave it on, but I just don't want to risk it because I have a big week next week. This little fella here is a cheek and lip tint and I love it. Also love this little guy, little brow stamp. And it comes with little stencils, which is why my brows are looking very large and in charge right now. I might have gone a little bit heavy handed on that one, but the idea was there. This is literally just foundation, mascara, brows, lips, and a little bit of tint on my cheeks. I am en route to Harvey Norman's to get this little photo printed for Mum's voucher for her birthday. And then I'm meeting Taya at the cafe in about 10 minutes. It's going to take longer than 10 minutes to get there, but... I messaged her and I said, you better be fashionably late because I ain't going to be on time. And she said that that is her specialty, which we all know. So, fantastic. Success. That literally took like five minutes, so I ended up staying and waiting. But here we have it. It actually came out pretty good. Slay Greg, coming in with the big dog presents. I need to get my butt to the cafe to go see Teo. Okay, I live in a rural town. I just saw the most rural <laughs> I think I've probably ever seen in this town. Um, oh, there's not. I'm not gonna get a car park in the main street. Who am I freaking kidding myself? It's a Saturday. Anyway, back to what I saw. I saw outside the tire shop a Land Cruiser pulled up with a trailer behind it. The trailer was jacked up because it had a flat tire, but the trailer was full of sheep, full of like fully grown sheep, just outside the tire shop. <laughs> I've made it home, but I can't get up the driveway because the tree's fallen over. So I'm just waiting for Dad to come and shift it for me. It's just a little tree, but I, I like our driveway is like got a curve. It's like a long driveway with a curve in it, so I can't back out and I can't get out of the car because I've got bushes on either side of me. So I'm just waiting for him to come out and he can shift it, and then I'll be able to go through. Had my little coffee date with Taya. Amazing. Love our friendship. She's the best person ever. Um, went and got some bread for lunch. Also went to Whip Calls and bought myself another exercise book for my personal training because I've already pretty much used up a whole book. Um, and then I went and got mum a new ream of paper. Hmm. Hey guys, I've had some lunch. I'm about to do some study, um, but I have some cream on my face because my skin has just gone to the dogs again for the past couple days, which is so annoying because it was on the mend and now it's just gone backwards. So this is the only thing I can do to fix it and I look like an actual clown, but I need to do a little bit of study. I'm starting a new module at the moment on my personal training course, which is on Client preparation is what it's called. First module is on communication skills and I'd hope that I'd be great at that considering that I have a whole degree in communications. So, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. It's like 10 minutes to 5 and I have to leave in like 20 minutes. Uh, what did I do this afternoon? I showed you guys that I was about to do some personal training stuff so I did my little communication thing which was I didn't really learn anything I didn't already know. I was kind of falling asleep while I was doing it so then I had a nap and then I woke up from my nap. Still feeling like I could have had a longer nap. And then I read some more of my book. Still trying to get through this book. It's not terrible, but it's just like, 
it's quite like a, not a heavy read it's just like not as engaging to read as like a like a rom-com honestly my temper today is so short and i feel so sorry for everyone that i've come in contact with i need to now decide what i'm gonna wear out for dinner it is a buffet and i am planning on eating my body weight in sashimi so i'm thinking that i need to wear a dress from here that way are all my dresses this one here is an option or graduation dress or your complete other end of the spectrum and do like a mini long sleeve black moment with a blazer you know what i'm just gonna facetime sage and see what she's wearing she can answer do you know what you're wearing tonight oh this shouldn't be this hard to decide i've got a little bit of time so i'm just gonna try my options and go from there okay this is option number one it is definitely gonna need an iron looking at that I'd wear it with like white chunky sneakers. Okay, this is option number two. I'm definitely vibing with this a lot more. I'd go with the same chunky white sneakers for the feet. And I'd probably wear it with the same cardigan. No, that, that looks weird with the cardigan. I don't like that. One more option. Let's try it. Okay, I think this is the vibe that we've settled for. And then if I don't want the jacket, I can just leave it in the car because it's got long sleeves anyway. How was that? So good. Full? Low time, like 10 minutes, but we, we stopped eating like an hour ago. We're back at the flat. Mum and Dad are on their way. Mum thinks that they're, oh, they're here. Mum thinks they're here to pick up some stuff, but we actually have a cake for her, but we have no candles, so we've got 22 and Sage just did a little DIY job. Oh, they're already burnt as well. Oh, well. We use them for my birthday. Oh, well, we and Maddie's. And Matt's and maybe my mum's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Happy birthday to you. Oh, the good thing I needed on you. It's a bigger one. Oh, it's cold. Good morning guys. It is Sunday and it is already 10 past 10. I woke up a couple hours ago. I actually woke up before my alarm too, which was impressive because we didn't get home till like after 11 o'clock last night. Woke up at like quarter past eight. Had like an hour of quiet time. It was absolute bliss. Got up, had breakfast, had a shower, and now here I am. But anyway, today's agenda. I just want to have a really low-key day. <laughs> I'm going to church tonight with Taya. They're having like a... Normally we'd go to church in the morning at like nine o'clock. But tonight they're having a young adults thing after the service and we really just want to meet some new people. So we're going to go tonight at 6pm. But between now and then, I first things first, I need to make a video, photo, slideshow of photos for granddad's funeral. This has kind of like been my task for the last three grandparents that have passed away. It's been like, Emma, you can do the video slideshow. I'm like, okay, cool, I can do that. Also, my skin is so dry and sore today, so I've been using this like Aveen spray water on it. I used to use this all the time when I was in school. It was easy because if my skin got dry at school, I could just spray it and then carry on. But I haven't used it in so long and it's the best. Oh, it just feels so nice, especially on a warm day. It is just the best thing ever. I still don't know what's wrong with my skin, eh? Because the peril dermatitis is like now across my whole face and I don't think that's how it's supposed to work so I need to book in to go see the doctor but it's gonna take me like two weeks to get an appointment and then knowing my luck by the time the appointment rolls around my skin will be fine. All right it is like one o'clock and I have had lunch I had some like tacos which I've literally had for like three meals in the past two days uh but I am gonna go to the supermarket now and do my weekly shop because I'm only home until Thursday morning and then I'm going up to Whangarei and I'm home by myself and cooking for yourself is a bit of a pain in the bum so I have meal planned and I'm gonna go get my shopping I only need like 10 things and then I'm gonna come home anyway time to go to the supermarket and I think when I get home Taya might come over so we'll see she might come over like before we go to church because we we'll need to leave her at like five so anyway let's go to the supermarket guys Woo! All right, I'm home from the supermarket. Didn't vlog there because it was Sunday afternoon and everyone ran his dog was at the supermarket. So let me just show you guys what I got and then I'll tell you how much it cost me. Yogurt, mayonnaise, burger patties, dumplings, bananas, avocados, carrots, cucumber, lettuce, salmon, nuts, hummus, seaweed, and crackers. $78. Ridiculous. She's back with the cute moisturizer on her face because my skin is just so dry. It is so bad. I think I'm going to try and go like dairy free for the next like a week and see if that helps because I have a funny feeling that I, my dairy intolerance that I used to have as a kid, I'm pretty sure it was back, which would explain why it's only on my face. I have just edited the TikTok, which will probably be out by now actually, for Emco Beauty. So I need to send that to my talent manager, but I'll do that tomorrow because I don't want to do that on a Sunday. But mum has gone to Whangarei already and dad is leaving shortly, but he has asked me to write or 
create a card that he can put with the voucher for the pot lap. I've made this, but the printer's low on ink, so it didn't come out properly. So I just tried to, pr oh, is the printer out of paper? Oh, that didn't work. Okay, hang on. There's a black and white one coming in just a moment. That works, and then you can just fold it in half, write what he wants to write, and then he'll be fine. Here you go. To my amazing wife on your 60th birthday. And then you can write what oh, you I'm going to write something in there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can already tell just by looking that this isn't going to work. Or maybe it will. Oh, like only just. Like it kind of hangs over the edge. I need a deal to my skin because I'm going to meet new people tonight and I don't want them to think that this is all <laughs> like all the time. Also, Taya just messaged before she's going to come over shortly. So, yippee. The thing I love about this camera is that it actually like softens your skin. And so it's actually really dry like here and under my eyes, like right here. But you can't see that because this camera's doing God's work. Also, I wonder what my favorite color is. <coughs> also, I need to decide when I'm gonna leave church tonight. I'm running out of um, winter church options. I have so many dresses and stuff I can wear to church in the summertime, but when it comes to winter, I end up wearing the same thing like on like two things on repeat. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe the areas that are dry just to get like the dead skin off. Spray some of this. I have this very dry face cream, which is pretty good. Oh, that feels amazing. Okay, then I have an eye cream for my eyes. Good old Dean I'm eye cream. I can't, I honestly can't go past this. Now it's just my lips that need sorting. Do I put steroids on them? Do I put moisturizer on them? Do I put an oil-based moisturizer on them? Do I just leave them to dry themselves out and then hopefully they'll fix themselves? You tell me. At this point, like, I just, oh, I'm so over it. It's really annoying because my skin, when I went to, it was pretty much while I was in Fiji and like two weeks after I got home, like for that sort of like three to four weeks, my skin was, I kid you not, the best it's ever been in my life. And I was, I was thriving, like proper thriving. I was like, this is amazing. And then literally pretty much overnight, it turned back to how it always, how it has always been and um now that i've had a taste of what it's like to have normal skin but yeah like i have a funny feeling i'm going to be meeting quite a few new people tonight i may not be i may be i have no idea but i get so self-conscious when i my skin's bad not because like i personally i don't care like I, I just go with the flow but i don't want someone to look at it and be like what is like what's wrong with her like you know like i just get self-conscious in that respect and like i don't mind people ask about it it's just annoying because like people ask about it because it's not very common whereas with acne and stuff like i would have this any day over acne because acne is like sore whereas this isn't so bad but the thing with acne at least people don't ask you about it whereas with this people want to know what it is and so they're going to ask you about it i'm thinking i'm going to go with the steroid option i'm either going to regret this or it's going to be a really good decision mm. now i'm going to do it great that's the outside of my lips sorted then i'm going to use the dermal therapy lip balm i literally swear by this lip balm i wouldn't use anything else that's the best all right we are home from church and I, I never like really film anything from church i always i always take my camera to church but i never end up filming anything because it's just so like in the moment and it's like i really don't want to get my camera out but it was an amazing service so good i was like not really like i don't know i haven't been feeling the greatest today but literally the moment that you walk in the doors it's just like oh like a weight is just like lifted off your shoulders and it is amazing nothing beats the presence of god let me tell you that i now need to go to bed it is nine o'clock and we just got home so i need to go to bed got a big week ahead but thank you guys so much for watching stay safe stay well make someone smile and i'll see you in my next video <laughs>